In this video, I am going to show you how to locally install AudioCraft Music Gen either in AWS EC2 instance or you can even do it on your own laptop. I will be using AWS C5 X large instance and also the operating system will be Ubuntu. I'll be showing you all the commands which I'll be using from the scratch. I have also put in all the commands which are being used in this tutorial on my blog on this link and I will share the link in video description. So don't no need to uh, type it yourself. Okay, the first step in this uh, process is to launch EC2 instance in AWS. I'm already logged into my AWS account. And as you can see, I'm selecting Ubuntu instance. This is the AMI I'll be selecting from AWS and architecture is 64 bit instance type is C5X large. Let me provision this instance in AWS and make sure you have internet connectivity. My AWS instance is ready and I'm already logged in with Putty with my private key. Now, the first step we need to do when we logged into this new instance as Ubuntu user, we need to switch to root. Uh, you can go with Ubuntu and use sudo, but just for this trial purpose, I'm just going with the root, um, uh, uh, root user. And the first thing I always do is to update the whole operating system just to make sure everything is ready. So apt get update is a command which we need to run. So let's wait for it to finish. It takes a bit of a time sometimes. Okay, so that's already done. Now quickly check if we have Conda installed because that is the thing we need to install in order to work with it. So Conda is not here. Let me install Conda. And before we install Conda, we need to install a utility called as wcat. So the command is apt get install wget. It has installed it. Now move to temp directory where we will be downloading Conda with the help of wget. And the command is simply this wget and the URL of can, um, Conda or Anaconda repository. So let's wait for it to finish. So it's already done. Next step is to check the checksum of this um file which we have downloaded so that we know that it is all good so checksum is all good now the next command is to install it we are using bash and then the shell command which we have downloaded into a temp directory press enter to continue and then spacebar just to move along and then type yes here to accept the license terms and then um, this location is fine press enter and it will now download and install the conda in our uh, local system so let's wait for it to finish conda is almost installed there are 4 431 packages to be installed in conda it is still going on for the last two three minutes while i pause the video and then it is solving the environment shouldn't take too long now let's wait for it to finish it is asking me, asking me now if, we, if I want to initiate Conda. Yes, we do. So that's all done. Next step is to source this Conda in our um, shell. The bash is, bash is our cell source. Just make sure that we can access Conda now. And to verify if Conda is installed, just type Conda info. And there you go. It has given you all the information about Conda. Also check the version with Conda dash dash version. So we have the Conda version with us too, which is correct. Next step is to create the Conda environment where we would be able to do everything uh, within that environment. So command is simply Conda create dash n or name audio craft, which is a name of environment. You can select your own, then select yes here. And in that above command, we specified Python version 3.9 which is required for this audio craft. So that's done. Next step is to activate this env environment. Conda activate audio craft. So that's done. Um, and you see this audio craft here in brackets. So it means that this is all good. Next step is to install FFM peg, which is a library to uh, encode, decode, and uh, <clears throat> sorry, um, Transcode, mixing, uh, formatting, streaming, multimedia content in 
a uh, lot of operating system so in this step i am going to install this ffmpeg command is very simple apt install ffmpeg is the command press enter then select y and it is going to install it fairly quickly so let's wait for it to finish so it is still installing so i'm just waiting for it to finish Okay, so just press enter here when you see the screen in Ubuntu. Okay, that's done. This is correct. Now just quickly check FFmpeg version, which will be FFmpeg version is this. So it is, this is all good. Okay, um, as a next step, what we need to do, we need to clone that audio craft repository. Let me go there. This is what I'm talking about. So if you scroll up, you will see this code uh, green drop down click here grab this url and then go back to your, um, your terminal window which will be this and just simply do git clone and the url which you have just copied enter and this has cloned uh, that audio craft in your local system then cd audio craft now once you have cd to this audio graph, we need to install all the requirements. So pip install requirement.txt, enter. And this is going to install all the requirements on your local system. Let's wait for it to finish. Doesn't take too long, which is great. All the requirements are done. And the next step is to run the Gradio. Gradio is just a simple web interface on top of all these machine learning models. So the command is very simple, Python demo music chan app and share. Just press enter and it will um, start it. And then it will share a couple of links with us, which we can run to see how it goes. So you can either run it on your local machine. I'm running um, it in the CLI mode. So this won't be available for me. So I'll just use this URL to start it. So let me access this URL. As I accessed that URL on Gradio Live, this screen opened. And so it means that our audio craft music chan is working. On the left hand side, you can input your text, whatever you want. Let's say we just want to hear some um, opera and I'll click on submit. Uh, wait, let before I click on submit, instead of going with melody, I'm just going to select first the small model because uh in the favor of time and i will select the duration very quickly maybe just for two seconds so that it will finish quickly you won't have to wait much and i will just um, keep all the top k top p values temperature randomness as is and that's it so just let's click on submit now so on the right hand side it will generate this and let me show you that here as you can see on our terminal it is downloading the whole model first and this is only first time. Next time when you give it um, the prompts here, it will just select this model, which is which it is downloading. So let's wait for this model to download. And while this is showing the progress here, you can also see the same progress on your browser on the right hand side, where you can see on the right hand side, it is telling us processing. So let's wait for it to finish. First time it takes around few minutes, depending upon your model size. So it seems that on the terminal, it has finished downloading the model and it has also uh, made the batch out of it for the task Opera, which we gave. Let's go back to our browser and see what's the go with it. Okay, so you can see on the right hand side, we have the output. Let me play it. Okay, so it was okay. Let me try to play some classical Pakistani music. And as, as I have pressed submit, it is generating again. And if I show you the terminal, it is not doing, uh, it is not downloading the model again. It is just generating that classical Pakistani music. So again, I am back into my browser. It was very quick, by the way. Let me play it.
nice okay let's try one more thing um maybe i will call it um yes so it is generating it again let me go back to my so you see new batch one is jazz let's wait for it to finish i'm very impressed by the speed by the way let me click here nice okay now um this is it guys i hope that you liked it if you really want to have a production ready music then maybe just select this facebook music gen melody and then um, submit the jazz or something whatever you want and then let it generate i hope that you liked it uh, please share your feedback in the comment section and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.